Hello there, VDF, and welcome to our Week 1 Team Builder for the Florida Flycons in Season 1 of XPDLA. I am so excited, this is the first ever Team Builder I ever get to make with a team that I have drafted, and our first opponent is Darnish. So, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload, uh, make these Team Builders, upload them before the, I upload the match, but it'll be after the match is done, so Darnish can't look at my team and think, oh yeah, this would be the perfect team to destroy that. So anyway, let's break down Darnish's draft before I go into my draft and the names I've given these Pokemon. I've also gone for, I've made it a document which is all the Pokemon in my draft, the kills, brings, and deaths. So basically I can find out who my MVP was throughout the season. I wonder who I'm going to bring most, probably Giratina or Greninja, might be El Trompo, we'll see. Anyway, let's break down Darnish's draft. So Dar Darnish... Drafting the Cosmo Dusk. I'm not really worried about the thing because most of my team destroys it. Um, Inferno, I'm kind of worried about. It is a really good, good fast fire fighting type. It's one of the best fire fighting type starters and it does a lot of damage in this format. Zero Aura, a really good electric type, is a really good signature move that is one of the best electric types in this format and it's very scary. Tentacle, a good spinner and a toxic spike setter. Very, very scary if you can set up all its toxic spikes, we're kind of screwed. So that's why we need a lot of Pokemon to be able to be ready to knock it out as soon as it comes in. We do not want it being able to set up on us. Gardevoir is a, not mega, but is a very psychic one can hit a lot of things very, very hard and a very scary Pokemon one you've got to deal with really carefully. Miltank, just a really bulky normal type, good at setting up Stealth Fox, can heal itself with the Milt and Drink, Paralyze, does a lot of really annoying things and can stall out an entire team. Garboda, never come across it in the draft format or watching other people before, but it is a poison type, I'm pretty sure it's quite bulky and I'm just going to be wary of it. Lopini Mega, a very, very scary Mega in this format, can hit really, really hard and has a wide range of moves that do a lot of damage. Mamoswine, a great Earthquaker and a great Ice type in this format, incredibly bulky and very, very scary for any team to go up against. Then there's Suicune, a very, very bulky Water type, one of the legendary doggos and very, again, scary. I feel like I've said that about most of the team. Hydreigon, a, I think it's Hydreigon. I know it's German, but I can never remember the pronunciation. I'm very sorry if I butchered that. A very scary dragon dark type covers two very important type things in this format, but luckily I think I'm very good prepared to take that thing out. And finally, Tornadus Eye. Had Diagon and Tornadus Eye are both very, very scary because they're his Z move users, and I do not want to be up against them and take a Z move really with anyone, but I can if I need to. Um, I think Had Diagon is his anything, and Tornadus Eye is his. No, Hydragonus is just attack, I'm trying to say this is anything. Anyway, let's go through the team that I bought this week. So, I bought, first of all, a first pick, Giratina Origin, or El Diablo. Grisha's Orb means any um, ghost or dragon type moves that El Diablo uses are going to do more damage, makes it a very scary Pokemon. It also has Levitate to, to add, just because we're a ghost, we have an immunity to fighting and normal. We now also have the immunity to ground, that's three immunities, really, really good. Um, it has, and it moves, so I bought Aura Sphere. Aura Sphere is here to most, it's going to show all the other moves there, just ignore those. Aura Sphere is here mostly to really hit Mega Lopunny, because if Mega Lopunny swaps in on us, none of our other moves do a lot of damage, it's immune to our ghost type moves, and it doesn't have that much to hit us apart from some fairy type moves, so if we can hit this thing with an Aura Sphere when it comes in, that will do a lot of damage. I'm not sure I'm going to do calcs during this battle, but I'll figure it out along the way. Um, Aurasphere also works against Hydreigon, because Hydreigon is a pretty decent swap into us, unless we hit it with a Joker Meteor, in which case it's dead. Moving on to Greninja, I didn't give Greninja a name because it was my first Pokemon, didn't name that, and I don't want to change that. None of my Greninjas will have a name, they'll all be female though, because my first Pokemon was a female Greninja. Anyway, I added a Choice Specs Greninja, reason being extra sensory Choice Specs Greninja one-shots Infernape and Megalopony. Like 60% of the time. So if we can get this thing in and it outspeeds them, I've done everything I can to make this thing as fast as possible. This thing hits like an absolute truck and decimates two of Darnish's very scariest Pokemon. El Diablo also go through the stats. 252 in HP, um, plus one defense, 252 in attack, and minus attack. Special attack 250 and minus attack with a modest nature. Um, so that's why I'm carrying extra sensory because it one shots two very scary Pokemon. I just have to be careful with predictions and everything because those both of those Pokemon can actually also one shot me with their fighting type moves. So I've got to be really careful. Hopefully, Podium Ninja can break through 
with psychic type awesomeness. Then we've got Dark Pulse. Dark Pulse is mostly just for coverage. If they decide to bring the Cosmic Dusk, which I don't think so because most of our team, as you can see, destroys the Cosmic Dusk. We've got three Pokemon. I didn't even prepare to fight the Cosmic Dusk, but three of our Pokemon decimate it in one of you on. Um, but mostly Dark Pulse is for the Gardevoir. The Gardevoir doesn't like, just gets one shotted by switching it into Dark Pulse, and that's the main reason it has it. It's also Stab normally, and we have a Water Pulse on there. Water Pulse is there to hit the Infernape again if Existency doesn't one shot or I mess it up. It also, I'm pretty sure, one stops Mammoth Swine and does a lot of damage to Tornadus Eye. Don't really have that much against to do against Tornadus Eye. Actually, no, we have a whole Pokemon dedicated to defeating Tornadus Eye. My bad. I also added U turn, so if you want to get some real momentum going, I don't have anything really to benefit U turn. It's not going to do that much, but good news is very fast, so we can get some real momentum going if we use U turn. Going into our stats, we have a timid. Max speed, max special attack, and a little bit in defense with minus attack nature. Dougie, our next Pokemon, our Life Orb Doug Trio. Sorry, my voice is starting to feel the strains of pre recording a lot of videos. So, let's start with the stats apparently. With 252 in attack and 252 in speed, it has a 30% chance to one shot Tentacool. I've also given it the Arena Trap ability because if we lock in Infernape, Zero Aura, um, Gardevoir, any of those Pokemon, we can win, we can defeat them in a 1v1. I gave it Life Hope so it hits like a truck, and for its moves, I gave it Earthquake, because Earthquake with it one shots the Tentacool. Sucker Punch so we can get that priority. Toxic if I suck against a bulky Pokemon. This is mostly for Miltank. If Miltank comes in, we Toxic it and do a lot of damage, and then I added Stealth Ox, because you can set that up, but Tornadus I does not like that. Moving, and we also have Life Hope so this thing does a lot of damage. Moving into El Chompo, our Steelium Z user. Uh, we also have Technician, so if it has 60 power or less, it has 1.5 power. And then we have Bullet Punch. So, Bullet Punch and Iron Head. Iron Head is mostly just using for Z. Bullet Punch will probably be our normal attack. And Knock Off. Knock Off is there to get rid of any item that could be annoying, like Miltank's Leftovers. This thing is mostly here to take out Gardevoir, Garboda. Lopani and Tornadus, I think, because its only weakness is fire type. We don't want it in against the fire type, but as long as you don't have it in against the fire type, we should be doing well. It has knockoff as well to get rid of any items, as I just said. I was debating whether to use a bug type move or sword stance, because this was so slow, I feel like I was going to add U turn, but U turn isn't going to work. But if you set up a sword stance, hit them with a Steelium Z Iron Head, we're knocking something out. Something's going to die. And then for our stats, we have Adamant, so plus attack minus special attack, a HP, a lot of HP, everything into attack, and a little bit into special defense to escape any fight. Actually, that should be a little bit into defense, because in front it's our biggest threat, and it uses lots of fire type moves. Moving in to Rose, our version. Rose was a air bring for me. I wasn't sure if I was going to bring them. But I really liked how Rose works on the team, and I'm very excited to use it. Our lowest tier Pokemon that we're bringing, but hopefully Rose can definitely come in and do some work. I mostly brought Rose to help deal with the Tentacle and the Suicune. I tried to build this team as if I was fighting that entire 12 Pokemon roster with only 6 Pokemon. We have a Rocky Helmet, so Rose can take hits and deal them back as they're getting hit. Justified, so if anyone decides to attack with Dark Type move, such as Hydreigon, we do a lot of damage, and then I got close combat. Close combat takes out Hydreigon, Mamoswine, Lopunny, Miltank. Leaf Blade takes out the Tentacruel, the Suicune. Synthesis heals up, and Stone Edge is a lot of damage to Tornadus. So I'm predicting that in this game, probably at one point, we're going to have a moment where Rose is in, might take something out, then Tornadus, or something swaps out. Then we use the Stone Age and do a lot of damage to Tornadus. Lost Road is going to one shot, I don't really need to calc that though, because it'll still do a lot of damage nonetheless, provided it hits. And finally, our final Pokemon that I brought, the one that really rounds out this team, is Tree. Tree is exact tree, as you can see, with leftovers. It also has Beast Boost and Insane Special Attack. Also, I didn't do the stats. Um, everything in attack and speed and a little bit into special defense. Next up, Exactory. So Exactory does have a little bit of bulk, um, just the tiniest bit, so it can heal over with leftovers. But it's mostly here to sweep, because we have, excuse me, sorry, 
Dazzling Gleam Discharge an Energy Ball. Dazzling Gleam one shot Side Dragon no matter what. It also does some damage to Infernape, Zero Aura, and it's anything else. Discharge is Stab, takes out Suicune, takes out Tornadus, takes out Tentacle, does a lot of damage to a lot of members of their team, and they don't, didn't go off, actually no, they did it off Mamoswine, which is why I bought Energy Ball. Energy Ball is a one-shot, I'm pretty sure, if we set up the piece de la resistance, the best part of this team, the tail glow. If we get tail glow off, our special attack goes up by three. Then we knock something out, our special attack goes up again. So if you knock three things out with the tail glow set up of three, GG, they don't win that. Because Zero Aura, Energy Ball, Infernape, Dazzling Gleam, um, Tentacruel, Discharge, Gardevoir, Energy Ball, Miltank, Discharge, Garboda, Discharge, Lopany Mega, Dazzling Gleam, Mamoswine, Energy Ball, Suicune, Energy Ball, Hydreigon, Dazzling Gleam, and Tornado's Eye, Discharge, everything dies to something on this thing, apart from the Cosmo Dusk, which again, I'm pretty sure they're not bringing. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this match, I had a lot of fun building this team, let's hope that they can pull out a victory on week one, if we don't win, that's completely fine, it's my first ever draft league match, totally fine with not winning, I'd actually rather kind of not win, I kind of... I'm not going to try to, but I kind of want to lose our first three or so matches. So, you know, our first victory feels so good. But if we win this match, that'd be incredible. I've built this team to try and give us our best possible odds. But I'm just really here to have as much fun as possible. I'll try to battle Darnish as soon as possible. I hope you all have a great day. I'll see you at the match, and ODF out. Goodbye.